We are going to create a library class and method, and uh, we're going to be creating a council application that uses that method. And if you see the what would you like to do screen, you're going to create a new project. And if you see this screen, all you have to do is go to File, New, and Project. And what we want to look for is library. And we want class library, and C Sharp is our language, all platforms. I'm going to select that and click on Next. And the name that we want for this is String Library. And we want the .NET 6 long-term support. And we're going to click on Create. Now, if you wanted to double check to make sure you chose uh, .NET 6, actually, under Dependencies, where it says Frameworks, Uh, we could look there. So I think there's an easier way to find it. Oh, there it is. Dot net six. Okay, that's what we we're looking for. Um, as long as you're purposeful in when you're creating it, you aren't going to have to really double check uh, because it should be .NET 6. Now let's go back up to our code. Uh, we are going to replace this code with the code that's in the tutorial. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. And you can see that we have a namespace uh, of utility libraries. Uh, and then we have our class called string library. In that class, we have one method called starts with upper. It's going to return a Boolean, so true or false. And uh, it's going to be receiving a string. And the little question mark after means that it may be null. So there may not be a string. Uh, so you can see that it's checking to see uh, if it is null, okay? Uh, and if it's not, then it's kind of substringing into the string and grabbing that first character and checking to see if it's uppercase. So that is pretty much all this is going to do. <laughs> uh, so we can go ahead and do a little build on it. And hopefully it says succeeded, especially if you copied. Uh, and at this point, we're going to do the council app because this is all there is to our you know, little library class. And to add a console app that uses this, what we are going to do is we're going to right click in our solution explorer. And we are going to add a new project. And this should be a console application. So you can do a search on console and the language should be C sharp, all platforms, just like it was before. And we're gonna call this one showcase. And we should be using .NET 6 long-term support and we're gonna click create. And then you'll notice that we have showcase and string library both in here.
And what we are going to do is replace this code that is in Showcase with the code from our tutorial. So the code from the tutorial is pulling in utility libraries, but you can see there's an error. We are going to be fixing that. Uh, there's also an error on starts with upper, which makes sense because it's having an issue with uh, the utility library's namespace. So if we kind of look over here, we have the namespace utility libraries. And for whatever reason, it's having a hard time pulling it in. But we will fix that. Uh, but first, let's talk about what's going on in our code. Uh, we have our main method. And uh, the way this is set up is that it's got a row variable that kind of counts uh, how many rows are on the screen. And as long as uh, the rows are between 0 and 25, it's good. Okay, we can, uh, you know, read the line. We can check to see if it's if it begins with an uppercase letter. Um, but once the row, is greater than 25, it's going to come down here into reset console. And then um, it's going to see if it's greater than zero. Uh, if it is, it displays the message and it reads whatever they enter. And then we clear out the console and then um, we get the little prompt to enter a string. Or if they want to exit, they just press enter. Okay, and then we set row all over again. Okay, so as long as row is between 0 and 25, it's going to be running through this little segment of code. Uh, another thing you should notice is that this is a do while loop, which means it's automatically going to go into the loop at least one time. Okay, so do whiles force you through the loop. Uh, then we've got, um, it's going to read in the line into input and remember it can be null uh, then it's checking to see if it's null or empty and if it is it breaks out of our little loop here uh, and then we have a little prompt uh, or the right, right lines got the input that they entered uh, the right line also has the text begins with uppercase and then this is where we're calling starts with upper uh, and remember that is going to retrieve or return a true or a false. Um, so this is little a little shortened version of an if else. A lot of different languages use it. Um, so what it's retrieving here is a true or false. If it's true, it is yes. That's what's going to display. And if it's false, no gets displayed. Okay, so it's just a little shortened version of an if else. So that's basically what this is doing. Uh, you'll notice that the while is going to continue while it's true. Okay, and so once it's false, it's done. So uh, how do we fix this little problem? Because we're not going to be able to run this as long as we have an issue here. So to fix this, we have to actually connect our little library with um, the program that is using it. And we do that by adding a project reference. And that is added in dependencies. So we're going to right click on dependencies and we're going to add a project reference. And the reference that we're adding is for the string library. So put a little check there, click OK. And you should notice that we no longer have any errors. So at this point, we should be able to run our build. And we actually should be able to run this. So if we go into debug and start without debugging, whoop.
Oops, got to do one more thing. I got jumped a little bit ahead. We have to set a startup project. Okay, so this is going to be our startup project. Uh, so this is just our starting point. There it is. All right, well, let's run our little build again. Okay, now let's try it. All right, press enter only to exit, otherwise enter a string. All right, begins with uppercase, yes. Okay, so I can keep doing this, but then remember once I hit uh, 25 or more, it's going to uh, kind of erase what's on the screen. Uh, so let me try doing another one. All right, let me do one in all lowercase. Okay, we'll do another one. All right, so I think I finally hit the limit and now it starts over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press enter and that exits out. So this is all working exactly how it is supposed to. And what we're going to do next is we are going to do a little unit testing.